this is actually one of my favorite stalls in Bishan for chicken rice. Actually, it is my favorite stall in Bishan for chicken rice. La. Welcome to another episode of Food Finders, and today we are doing an episode in Bishan. So we are basing it off this listicle that we've written about. Uh, so again, I don't write every single article on our site. Uh, however, I think it's good to check out some of the places that our writers have recommended. 30 food places in Bishan you should bring your foodie buddies to. So we're gonna find a few of these spots in Bishan and go and try them. And for the Singaporeans watching, as you know, we have now entered into a mask off in open areas. The mask off in open areas? Public areas. Public areas? Open areas. Anyway, so in not enclosed areas, uh, we can now freely walk around like normal. Uh, it feels a bit weird, lah, right? I was going out this morning and like, oh, I don't need to wear my mask, but it felt a bit wrong. But anyway, okay, so let's go check out the first spot that we want to go. It's at Bishan Interchange. We're going to Shi Xiang Ge, which is just right here. Let's go! Okay, so we are at Shi Xiang Ge and it's apparently run by the former La Mian director of Crystal Jade. This stall serves up Chinese food from the Shanxi province. So I assume La Mian is one of their signatures. We're gonna try that Shi San noodle. Hey, should we try beef or minced meat? Uh, okay, okay, beef La Mian. Tao Xiao Mian. Wow, one more dollar. Okay, we will try Tao Xiao Mian. Scan to pay. Wait, is it not working? Alright, done. Technology. Alright bro, the wonders of technology. I did not have to join the queue. Oh, actually no more queue really. <laughs> Woo! So there, there are a lot of bass sounds you can hear because this is literally on the second floor of the Bishan Bass Interchange. Yeah, you have to go up the stairs la, and you'll find it here. Okay, so what we got is the Tao Xiao Mian or the hand cut noodles. These are very China Chinese style of noodles and I think recently in Singapore it's grown to be quite popular as well. I ordered the less spicy uh, beef noodles so we're gonna give it a shot. Again this is by the ex Crystal Jade La Mian director. I'm gonna assume he's a professional at making la mian la. I'm gonna try the noodle and the soup. Okay, okay, okay. Because the noodle is so thick, right? There's still a bit of bite to the center. I would not call this al dente. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by the spice at the back. <laughs> the spice is not very obvious. It only like kind of comes at the back of your throat after you start drinking the soup. It's very interesting like, in terms of the texture because like, the outsides will cook more so they're softer but then when you get to the center it is a lot springier la. Then we have the beef. Okay, so you can see there is a certain amount of fats to the beef which gives it a certain tenderness as well. La. You get a good burst of the coriander as well. It's very hearty and like it's super generous. La. Like, look, look at this amount of noodles. Like. There's a lot of noodles. So inviting our crew to taste. Dean. Mainland China style of food. Oh, there's a lot of xiang cai there. <laughs> yeah, I like the xiang cai, the coriander is the xiang cai. La. Okay, not bad. Not bad, okay. I, I, would, I would give this a 4, four buses about 5. It's actually pretty good standard for the China cuisine style. The soup is clear. Uh, but still packs a lot of flavour. There's a lot of the coriander. Uh, the beef is not too dry. The noodles are actually having multiple textures. Yeah, so 4.5, come check it out if you are in the area. Add a teleport animation. So we are now at Minty Chicken Rice, which is probably the most famous chicken rice in Bichan. I think if you are a resident here or you stay around the area or you study around the area, you will know Minky Chicken Rice. The queue is constantly during lunchtime freaking long. Right, so it's very recognizable from the green plates. It's actually not very cheap like, if you think about it. Minky is one of the few places I've seen that actually charges for picking the Thai meat. So chicken Thai was 6 30 or something. It's actually more expensive than the drumstick. And the unique thing about Minky Chicken Rice is they ice soak 
the chicken. So they do an ice bath after they steam the chicken. So there's this jelly-like layer. The fat actually solidifies under the skin. This style is not completely unique to Minky Chicken Rice, but they have spent about 30 over years perfecting this recipe and they do it really really well. This is actually one of my favorite stalls in Bishan for chicken rice. Actually it is my favorite stall in Bishan for chicken rice. Uh, the chili here is a lot more watery and from memory it's like a bit sour also. I picked Thai meat because it is fattier. I like juicy meats like yeah, breast meat is a no-go for me. So don't be shocked when you eat the chicken and it's actually cold. So it's, it's meant to be like that. So right, it actually sits in this ice bath uh, before they actually chop it, right? So it is cold, uh, but the rice is warm like, and the soup is warm. So it's super tender. The meat, the rice is very fragrant as well. We're all very good. Okay, soup, soup is very normal. Uh. This just tastes like some stock MSG soup. For me, right, how I elevate the taste of the soup? For me, for me. Actually, yeah. Oh, you add the sauce? Yeah. Uh -huh. It better, uh. mm. Oh yeah, 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 shit. Much better, uh. Damn, yeah. Shit, this is a, this is a great tip, Eddie. The chicken, very, very good. With the fats, the rice, very fragrant as well. I, I will give Minky a 5 on 5. If you are in Bishan area, Junction 8, do come down. Just walk over from the bus interchange or Junction 8 uh, and do try this most famous chicken rice in Dishan and probably one of the most famous in Singapore as well. And on to the next spot. Let's go. What's your best memory of Bishan? Pirated uh, game shop, I think. That was like back then, uh, when student days can't afford. Fun fact about Bishan. The, the, the land in Bishan used to be cemetery. And uh, the Bishan is derived from the Cantonese term for large burial ground, Pek San Ting, so which literally translates to pavilions on the green. So we have Xingming Roti Prata. So from what I've heard, the coin prata and stuff is quite famous, so we're gonna try ordering. Xingming Roti Prata is located at Xingming. The Xingming Roti Prata is the place to go for a prata fix if you are in the area. Long queue for the store is a common sight, especially on weekend mornings. So I, I think what's famous is their coin prata. And uh, I personally like cheese, uh, so I order like cheese prata. Xingming is near enough to Bishan, lah, okay? Not exactly in Bishan, kind of in between Thompson, but near enough. Lah. Oddly, I've been here quite a few times, so there is the... Uh, so I ordered the coin prata and cheese prata, so there's two different curries. There is the fish curry, and then we have the chicken curry. Okay, let me see if like, if I'm saying um a lot, like, it'll just stop me. Seth, stop saying um. Uh, Seth, stop saying um. I just put the whole thing into my mouth. That's what she said! So essentially the coin brada is like a kosong, uh, there's like nothing inside. But there's this like sweetness coming from the dough as well. And it is quite crispy. I like that it's not just flattened. They did like strips and then they like pulled it up into a, a swirly shape uh, to make the, this coin brada. So there's like layers of it. So this is quite interesting, uh, quite different from like the usual uh, coin brada where they just like take a small dough and just flatten it. So I'm gonna try the cheese brada. Honestly it looks slightly Underwhelming. Uh, I'm gonna try with the fish curry this time. Pretty good. I can't, I can't help comparing to spring leaf prata. I like spring leaf prata better, but this is actually quite good. Like, like better than average, definitely. Can be crispier though, like you know, if you're talking about like crispy prata. But overall, this is actually a, a better than average prata. I know my expression looks very nonchalant, but yeah, I mean, I've had so much prata, right? Like, very hard to give a surprise look when you eat prata again. Like, oh, prata! I love prata, man. I think not bad. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> it takes a bit of sweetness and all. Uh... Classic curry and prata at Singming Roti Prata. This is definitely recommended. So I would give Singming Roti Prata a 4 on 5. Ming Ming! How often should you change your tyres? Every 40 50k, I assume. You rotate your tyres? What do you mean? 
if you rotate the tire right then it it, it will uh, it will be an even way ah. compared to you know just one side the tires are not straight you know right haram haram uh if you tilt down yeah especially like this see 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 so we are at 99 thai story kitchen Okay, so I think a good Thai restaurant for me is how good the Thai milk tea is. I think that's like the first sign for me. So I'm gonna try the Thai milk tea. It's a it's a very strong vanilla flavor to it. It's not overly sweet like a lot of Thai milk teas. They add super lot of milk, like the condensed milk. But this is actually pretty okay. Yeah, slightly diluted. I'm not sure whether it's cause like you know, the ice has melted a bit already. You can still taste the strong flavor of the tea. Yeah, so we're still waiting for our basil pork rice. Yeah, how long already? Uh? Got 15 minutes maybe. And it's not super crowded, so right, that's the thing. But I guess good things come to those who wait. I hope. Uh. Okay, so the set meal has finally arrived. Wow, this is also operating on a Thai time. Uh. So for 99 Thai Story Kitchen, it says in our article, it's tucked away in the outskirts of Bishan, and it is serving up authentic Thai dishes while keeping prices affordable. The head chef hails all the way from Thailand and boasts almost 20 years of cooking experience. You can be sure their dishes are the real deal here. Okay, in the set meal we have the basil pork comes with fried egg, comes with pork ribs. It also comes with two fish cakes as well as a small bowl of tom yum soup. Right, so you can see the tom yum soup has a bit of um, white powdery thing. So it also has chicken, a couple of mushrooms. I was trying to find prawn, but no, there's no prawn. Okay, I'm gonna try the tom yum soup first. Oh, sour! Not super spicy, but I like the sourness of it, and uh, it has a certain body from the the cream added. Actually, it looks more like it looks more like a otta inside. See? Like it feels like they've added chili rather than like just fish cake. Try this with some some wheat sour sauce. Definitely, there's some spices added in. There's lemongrass also. It's not like the Chinese uh, set stop saying um fish cake where it is very dry. So this one has uh, more aromatic, more spices added in as well. Next up, pork. You get a lot of the fermented flavor. It tastes actually like shrimp paste, which gives it its uh, tenderness and really a burst of flavor when you fry it. Okay, and finally to the star of the dish: basil pork rice. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm like them full. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. The spiciness is coming. Okay, texture-wise, I like that they don't use just purely lean meat. There is actually a mix of like pork fats, like pieces of small pork fat inside. It's very savory. Goes very well with the rice and with the egg. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, this was twelve. Okay, with the drink, it's thirteen eighty. I think it's really okay. It's quite a spread of different things. There's tom yum soup. There's like the side dish, and then there's like. Little pork with rice. The flavors are definitely there. I think it is quite authentic. My only comment is on the service. It is a bit slow. Make sure you're not in a rush, lah. If you wanna eat at Nine Nine Thai Story Kitchen. Yeah, but overall, food-wise, pretty good. I would give it a 4.5 stars. Worth coming down to check out. Okay, so this is the last spot that we're trying in Bishan. Uh, let's get back to the car to just summarize everything that we've tried. Yo. Okay, so we are back in the car. Tried four places. Uh, I am super full, man, and like ready to full coma already. What's everyone's favorite? For me, the most aesthetically pleasing one have to be the chicken rice. I mean, you can look at the layer of fat in between the skin and the meat. It's famous for a reason, lah. The signature green plate. Yeah, even even though it's price a bit higher. Yeah, definitely. I think Minky is. Stand out. I would shout out for the prata as well. The way that Singing Roti Prata makes their coin prata, I think, is very unique. There is a slight crispiness to it. I think that was one of the highlights as well for Bishan. Yeah. So thanks for watching this episode of Food Finders. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We will try to bring you more good food recommendations. If you have any other suggestions on what we should eat or what we should try, or what kind of episode we should do, do leave us a comment. I think just be kind with your comments. Like, wow, some of the comments are oh my god, I read already like the hell, man. Very easy to type mean comments. Uh. You don't chi buy. But yeah, anyway, I, I think it also takes a lot of effort. 
create this kind of videos. So some of the recommendations might not be things you guys agree, but you know, I think we can all be mature to agree to disagree. La. Alright, so thanks again and like and subscribe. And till next time, bye!